After more than seven weeks of navigation, coming from Solomon Islands, the race for water vessel reached Bali, Indonesia, the island of a thousand smiles. Our first stop, Bali, is host to a very specific school with an holistic approach dedicated to raising a generation of children conscious of the environment and willing to make our world a better place. The school was founded by Cynthia and John Hardy in 2008. We decided, because my husband is an incurable creative and builder, to build our own school. Driving the vision of holistic education, it would be a school without walls, built of bamboo, and it's a school for children and families to express something that they had never been able to express in traditional schools. Most of the 500 students are very active, and some of them created SOAP, an association that organized an event to celebrate World Ocean Day. I'm in the SOAP, the Student and Ocean Ambassador Program, and that's, how we're, that's our main focus. We're trying to um, make the ocean a better place to be, and a beautiful place that we love, because as a surfer, I'm in the ocean for more than four times a week, and it's just sad to see it be filled by plastic, and I don't know, I just wish that I could really change that. The trash problem in Bali, as long as I've been here, 37 years, has gotten really bad and it's very, very depressing. SOAP, together with Bye Bye Plastic Bags, another organization created by two students of the Green School, Melati and Isabel Wilson, organized a beach cleanup. Members of the Race for Water team participated. That was also an occasion to congratulate the two sisters on their success managing to motivate politicians to ban single-use plastic bags from supermarkets in Bali. Students of the Green School were invited to visit the Race for Water Ambassador vessel and discover the technologies on board, allowing to power this boat only with renewable energies. A great opportunity for our team to discover our curious and open-minded, most of them are. We too were curious while on our way to the Green School. The many different activities proposed to the students are based on a principle that leads them to link various matters to solve real-life challenges. This is like a learning space for students and from the name you can guess like a, it's innovation hub, so a place okay. where we expect the student to explore, to learn and then they will create like innovation, especially innovation for sustainability, creating solutions for the environment and stuff like that. Somehow it changes you, just sitting in a bamboo classroom with your shoes off, sitting in these tables with majestic roofs and curves. There's not a straight line anywhere. Our school uh, transportation is called BioBus. Bio it's also um, like student-initiated program, like started five years ago. Um, every Friday, our student will go and collect the used cooking oils around restaurants ah, okay. and cafes in, in Bali, in Ubud, in Changu, in Sanur area. And then they collect the used cooking oil. We collaborate with another NGO and they have the uh, factory that convert the used cooking oil into biodiesel. We have some that are built by students, so I wouldn't do a downhill competition, but I would go for a ride, no problem. Even though the Green School is rather dedicated to privileged children from 43 different countries, 10% of them are chosen among the local population to access the courses by benefiting from sponsored scholarships. The 50 Indonesian kids are from the neighborhood yes. and some of the families of some of the teachers. But these kids are all stepping up to become green leaders. Yes. They're all going to be um, carrying the torch for a new Indonesia. And that's our dream, is to really drive sustainability to the core of these kids. I'm a student at Green School, and I'm a Balinese local scholarship student. I found the boat very interesting. It was such a great opportunity to be able to go on there, um, learning about how renewable energies can help our world, and 
Um, I really, really feel inspired by uh, the speech on the boat and it was just such a great place to be in and it is very linked to the mission at Green School because at Green School we're inspiring young children to make a change and be who they want to be. I feel the ocean is a very important place. In Bali it's a holy place, the ocean and the mountains are a holy place and when you're in the mountains you're looking down at the ocean and you know that you're doing something good upstream if the ocean is clean. The Green School also provides English courses to 350 local children every month, allowing them to widen their capacity to benefit from the tourism industry. But we ask them in exchange for English classes every day to a community, the Cool Cook community is 350 children. We ask them to bring trash in exchange for class. And we do that so that they keep the neighborhood clean and they are instilled with a sense of pride and responsibility towards their community. Well, this is a unique approach uniting privileged children and the locals, all looking towards the same goal, creating a better world, conscious of the environment and leading Bali to maybe one day solve its plastic pollution issues. Yeah.